All right, so part two of the home tour. Um, we're going to take you through the house. Right now we're starting upstairs in the master bath. But this way you'll get to see all the progress that we've done. Um, so first thing, we've patched all the holes in the ceiling and a couple of cracks and stuff like that. There used to be all these ports up in the ceiling where they had this like central air, central vac thing. Anyway, they took it out. It's long gone, but they left all the ports. So patched those up. Been putting in GFIs in the wall. That was a fun little project. We discovered all the wiring for this whole circuit was hot neutral switched. And then uh, we found out that it was just in the GFI in the other bathroom that was done. Not really much to see in here. The tub is still green. But anyway, this is the mirror that we think we're going to get rid of. And I'll show you downstairs what we think we're going to put here. But there's not a lot of space in this master bath. And this is kind of ugly and there's not a lot of room. So we're going to do something to sort of increase the space in here. This fan used to not work. It, it, it was hitting on itself. So I've already repaired that. Here's the master bedroom. Um, you can see we that's where we patched one of those little holes in the ceiling. But this is all put together now. You can see this. And it's all very nice and very pleasant and very organized. TV works up here and everything. Uh, the closet had a pretty major renovation done to it. Um, if you remember, it used to be one strange bar that hooked around the long way and you couldn't slide things and stuff. Now we put in a real closet bar and it goes all the way across. So that's better. I mean, this is eventually gonna get painted, but that's uh, pretty strong, pretty sturdy. Feeling pretty good about all that. All right. Um, same thing, every bedroom and every bathroom had one of those little ports. So we've patched one up there, you can barely see it anymore. Um, this, you know, we talked about replacing that thing in the bathroom. This is one option, a bigger version of something like this, which becomes a medicine cabinet and among other things, but we'll see. Starting to hang some stuff up in here. This is the bathroom Dad and Meg used when they were here, so now it's a little more set up. Okay, let's go out here. I don't know if you guys remember, there used to be a central vac hole there which is patched and uh, we're still in the process of painting over the primer and stuff so we've got another coat. This is the bedroom the dad stayed in and then Meg stayed in. It's got a light. It's all made up. Uh, this is the armoire that's all put together. This door doesn't close right so we pulled it off its hinges but eventually we'll be putting that back together. But you know this room's pretty nice. Rigel likes to sit up there and look out the window so it's pretty good. This is Jen's office now and it's come together nicely. You can see we you know, ports in every room, but you can't even see the one that was up there. We did a good job on that one. So this is Jen's desk now. We're still hanging some stuff in here, but it's all good. You might have heard me talk about wanting to put in an attic portal. The air handler's right above here, but over there is open. And the thought is it can actually hit the landing right at about here. So the bottom of the staircase hits here. I don't know. It's still an option. But I think having some attic storage would really help out. So this is my brand new ladder. You can see it's one of those ones that extends. It's 26 feet total. So I'm pretty happy with that. Hey, what you doing? Should we go downstairs and finish the video? Let's go, man. All right. Down we go. You can see we've hung some art up on the walls. All right. Here's the pantry. Uh, here's the fixed lights. I think since the last, so we did some painting today, so you can see we still have paint supplies out. But for the most part now, the kitchen's pretty put together. Uh, you'll notice the wireless router is up there, and this big blue light actually can be shut off. But, um, so here's the kitchen. You see, it's pretty all set up. Here's our new microwave that wasn't in in the last video. It tells you the time right there. It's very late right now. But it's all this. You know, the, we cleaned this off. I don't know if you remember from the pictures. This is kind of scratched on there, but this was permanently grimy and we really cleaned it up a lot. So that's real good. Um, you can see the switches work. That's where Rigel eats. There's a little trash and recycler. This is the wife. Hi. Dog and his housekeeping staff live here, right? So now we're out here. You can see the buffet is set up with the light on it. Turtle's already gone to sleep, so he's over there. And here's this room now. We just bought this light today back there. So there's the bookshelf, it's got all the fancy books on it. Nice little sitting area, it's very decorative. Here's the kitchen area with our new light fixture that we put in, if you wanna see. Okay, there you see it in the dark. Now turn it on. Here's our little wall of pictures. Dad will remember. Okay, first of all, there was a big hole behind that which is now fixed, completely fixed, I'm gonna show you. It is all fixed back there. 
I took G's picture off, much to Jen's chagrin. Now she's back on. And you'll see this, it's not done painting yet, you can see there, but we've repaired the wood and we moved the box over so that the box is now, it used to be, this had a big cut out here and I rebuilt this wood with a couple of dowels. So I'd say I did a pretty good job on that. A little bit of painting left to do and this is gonna be all done. But these switches now work correctly. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but you can see there's just a hole in the wall where the box used to be and one day we're gonna pull this out and patch it and complete the molding if we can, if we can make enough room for it. But anyway, interesting thing about the router, I don't know if you can see it, but back under the cabinet here, you see if you can see it down there, I don't know. There's ethernet wires going down there into the basement. We'll show you where those come later because I think that is a pretty exciting project. Let's real quick look at a change we made to the yard. This is real cool, this is our new doorknob. Okay, locked on the outside, unlocked on the inside, so you can lock it or unlock it. Now, Rigel, let's go outside. Go outside. Go. Come on, let's go outside. Let's both go. What's going on in here? Oh, look at that. A motion light. It's pretty exciting. There's the shed. Rigel can see to go to the bathroom out here. Pretty exciting. So, inside we go. Want to come back in? There we go. All right. So, that's this floor. Looks pretty good. You know, we've got stuff on the walls. Dry just a little upstairs bed. We've got a couple little piles here still, but down we go. Let's go downstairs, everyone. I think the carpet was in the last video. All right, so keep the shoes there. You'll see it's much cleaner down here. We've got a little pile here still. This we have not finished dealing with yet, but right now it's just a massive storage mess. But you can see, it's, you know, it's not that much stuff, and this stuff all has a home. We just haven't put it places yet. So there's a bunch of storage shelves. The reason I'm showing you this is because we did some work in here in the air handler closet. Dad will remember this. First, we rerouted this duct over here, which it kind of already was, but we just tied it up a little bit. And it's kind of hard to see. Jen, do you have my flashlight? Can you get the mag light? It's up on the front entry. So the, uh, the condensation tube was routed right across the middle of this thing so you couldn't put anything in here so I got some plumbing stuff and I actually rerouted that you can see it here rerouted the condensation tube straight down here rerouted the pump so it's right over here and then the pump goes up so now this whole space in here became empty and we packed it full of storage we will probably at some point empty it back out and right now we're just chock full the other thing is now this can actually come down which allows us to get back here and store stuff you see there's the extra carpet um, there's a thing, there's a extra little closet doors down there. There's a whole bunch of junks down there. But, um, you know, th that pipe right there and this, um, this is an intake that comes from upstairs and then the intake for down here is right here. And then there's a, there's a out over there. So that's the duct work that's back there. But the integrity of it all has been checked. It's all good. We can still access this thing. It's got a drip tube in it and everything. I've checked it for leaks. Um, we are in good shape and it's out of the way and it's really made a big storage space for us. So I was kind of proud of that one. All right, let's close this off and we'll shut this light off. Okay, so getting squeezing my way squeezing my way out of there okay so now you see you come down the stairs and here is the living room look how nice this is mom you'll remember you gave us this switch so that is used for and this switch here operates this new light which we just bought today all the speakers are up around the room you know Rigel's little place for sitting is still back here um, this is the ottoman here, which you got, mom and dad thankfully gave us. Um, see it's got some storage in there. I don't know if you can see that, because it's kind of dark in here, but close it, open it. Here's the TV, we had music on, but somehow it got muted. But you can see everything is working there. Um, there's the new exercise bike, which folds up in this nice little thing, and then we just take it out. The arcade fits nicely in the corner here. We just bought this bookshelf for all of our DVDs and movies and video games and stuff like that. And there's the back hallway. This is now a closet. We pulled out the shelves from it. Tools are here temporarily, but they'll probably not stay there. Let's look in the laundry room, because a lot of changes happened in here. All right, so the server is living up here in the laundry room. You can see here's the cable modem. Our internet's actually out right now. Uh, it's a Comcast problem. 
And here's my nest of wires which I still need to tie up. But all those ethernet cables that came from the kitchen popped through the floor over there, way back up there, and we fed them all the way through. So even though the server is down here and the central lines are all down here and the input is down here, this, the wireless is sitting at the central point of the house, which is exactly what we wanted to do. So it's good. Um, we've got all kinds of storage in here now. It's pretty much as full as we can get it. I'm sure we'll find a way to squeeze more in there, but this has been a huge project and we're really pleased with how it's turning out. Pile of posters. Here's downstairs bathroom. There's nothing new, but the reason I want to show you this, mom and dad, I showed you, I told you we were considering something like this for the master bath. And this is basically three big medicine cabinets. Seeing as there's not a lot of storage up there, I think that could be a really good idea for, for up in this space. Um, I don't know, I kind of like this one down here, but there's so much storage in this one already, considering nobody uses this bathroom except for Rigel for his little dog baths. Um, something to consider. Maybe we'll swap that one out or get one like it. We already priced one out. It's not too bad. This is my office. It's still a disaster, but you'll see the desk is up. This room has not even really been addressed yet, but, you know, it's kind of a dude room. Got the guitars and tools and chair and everything like that. Um, that's the old TV, which is still there. You know, dresser, all this kind of crap. Um, Dad, you'll be kind of excited to see this. I am putting a true multi-plug, hopefully, in every room. And that's Ethernet, phone, and cable, like TV cable. So it's kind of cool. It's kind of nice to have it all in one spot. Um, I have to repair some of this because the phone wiring was just staple gunned to the molding. I mean, it's a disaster. So I'll, when I pull all that out, I'll do that properly. But, you know, even still out here, you can see the phone wiring is just tacked onto the outside. So I plan to put that in properly. You can see they tried to tuck it under and then got bored and quit. Um, there's one of those that's going back there too. It's just not done yet. That's going to be a big project, but I think that that'll be worth it in the end. But all in all, lots of work. The house is coming along great. We were very pleased with it. You know, obviously we're m making progress. It's very comfortable in here. This guy is having a good time making smells everywhere. TV's working good. Well and that's pretty much it. So bye. Bye.